This evening I've been doing some repairs to some of the small flying models that I've built over the years. And this is a, a right biplane. This is one of two right biplanes that I've uh, built. And these were made for a talk at a school on the 100th anniversary of the Wright Brothers and the first aeroplane flight. This flies indoors uh, and in calm evenings as well. I'll show you the other right biplane as well. The right biplane is here. This is the scale model of the right biplane. And uh, this is also a flying model as well. Don't fly it very often, only on special occasions. But uh, it's got two propellers, two wind up propellers, as per the original. And it's got the original right engine, a replica of the original right engine, from the position where Wilbur lay in the prone position on his flights at uh, historic flights at Kitty Hawk. So that's the right biplane number two. Here we have a replica of a model which I built in the 50s from an old aero model plan and this is the Bruce the Buffalo. Another little nice little flyer out in the garden or calm evenings as well. I started building rubber models long before I built anything else. This is my roots and I still love building replicas of these old machines. This, uh, I bought this kit in a charity shop for 50 pence. <laughs> And the lady says to me, are oh, you going to build that? I says, I oh, sure am. And this is an air sail kit for the Oster Air B9. And that is a beautiful flyer. It really is. And a calm evening. That does lovely circuits on a few strands of rubber. This next model is quite interesting. This is one of a survivor of quite a few models I built in the 60s. And this is the Trent engine Meteor. Uh, that built the Meteor for test purposes, testing the Trent engines. And it makes an ideal subject as well. This is originally a model made for JetX, and I converted the plan to incorporate the propeller motors. A bit fragile now, but it still exists anyway. And then we've got the Flying Flea Pudi CL, which is uh, needing some restoration work on it. I've built uh, quite a few Pudi CLs over the years, and this is a tiny little rubber powered model. That same aeroplane. Now this next model is extraordinary because this was made from a 1942 aero model blueprint drawing and as a lad I used to make these from the scrap wood that my father used to drop onto the floor and I either run out of wood or I didn't have the tools to complete it but last year I made this little replica of the Avro Commodore and I'm quite pleased with the way it's come out and it's also a nice little model to remind me of my roots in aero modelling as well. So there you are, there's a few of my smaller models. Besides the large aeroplanes I build, I still love the miniature models that I started with all those many years ago. And I think it's important to remember how we started and also to make modern replicas of these machines in uh, with the materials we've got today and the adhesives as well. It's possible to make much better flying models as well and fly they all do. So there you are. I hope you've enjoyed my tour around a selection of the surviving rubber-powered model aeroplanes.